That's the best way I know to be able to push back against these oil companies. You know, this is a problem we've got. And that is that when something happens that may cause uh, the cost of the supply to go up just a little, we're watching giant corporations, oil company, but also we're seeing it in food, for example, that companies swoop in and say, hey, while we have the opportunity, they go ahead and raise prices even more. That's why we're seeing not just that prices are going up, but that profit margins are going up yes. and going up dramatically. I find it bizarre, Senator, that our solution to avoid buying oil from one foreign autocracy that abuses human rights is to go and buy oil from another foreign autocracy that abuses human rights. Saudi Arabia just mass executed 81 people yesterday, the largest mass execution in modern times. And yet there are reports the Biden administration wants to go hat in hand to the Saudis for more oil. At what point do we focus on renewables at home and not more oil from abroad? Well, you know, we have to remind ourselves, if we had focused more on renewables at home starting 15 years ago, Russia wouldn't have the power that it has today. So, OK, I don't have a time machine. We can't go backwards. But please let us use this moment to concentrate our focus on the need to get ourselves off a fossil fuel economy. This is the moment that we need to be investing and doubling down and doubling down again on solar, on wind, on hydro, so that Russia does not have the power. And the same is true for other countries. We shouldn't put ourselves at risk for how it is that uh, they get their money through a fossil fuel economy and then how they use it to try to disrupt the worldwide economy. This is a moment we need to be saying, yep, this is why all of us need to go green. We need to make that investment as a nation now.